Split 2 has come to a close and our competitors for the ALGS Championship in Japan are locked. My name is Vicky and I'm here to tell you about everything from the biggest moves to the biggest plays leading up to our biggest competition of the year. If you thought the roster mania during Split 2 was the craziest we've ever seen, think again. The Split 2 playoffs saw the squad of Space Station Gaming soar above the crowds to win in Manhattan. But soon after the dust settled, the duo of Zainu and Koifel parted ways with their IGL phony. In his place, the two pick up Guild Esports MT to fill out their roster. Phony, in the process, moves across the pond to join Jesuus and Legacy on Guild. Now, under the banner of Not Moist, this roster swap makes both of these teams a must-watch leading into champs. But wait a minute, Not Moist? Didn't they already have a squad during Split 2? That's right. The former trio of It's Timmy, Guild, and Waltzy have waved goodbye as Waltzy joins Team Falcons alongside Hal and Zero. Following Waltzy, Guild makes his way to NRG with Nocturnal and Fun as Reptar departs from the roster. With his former squad now out of the picture, Timmy reunites with his former teammate Designful as the former team of Disguise dissolves. These old friends are set to bring back the dojo while welcoming in former champion Jen Burden, who makes his way in from Team Falcons. And the roster mayhem doesn't end here. The moves continue on as Chaotic Much of Cloud9 returns home to the UK. The NA team replacing their third with Bleed Esports' Shuby Tuby. That leaves Bleed needing a new third alongside Dropped and Knocked. They say hello to a longtime rival, Yanya of Team Liquid Alienware, creating a new dynamic trio, a move that brings to an end the longtime team of Nizul. Yanya and Hogwadis, a two-year journey that has now finished its final chapter. But despite that long legacy, the wheels keep moving with Team Liquid filling out their new trio with Kuriv of Eat Cholos Laser. Formerly of FaZe Clan, Arctic makes a big move from Amiya to Apex South as he joins the duo of Strafing Flame and Player K on Primus Komana. Don't worry, we're almost there. Lou parts ways with Complexity to join Zack Mazer and Slayer on Elevate Gaming. Complexity locks in their new third of enemy from Disguise and Fnatic replaces Sasuke while Yuka F and Laika reunite with former teammate Meltstera, bringing back their year 3 squad to run it back at the end of year 4. Woo! After all the moves, these are the 32 teams that qualified for champs, but there were still eight spots left to grab, and we found out who would take them in the last chance qualifiers. The LCQs are the last chance for two teams from every region to qualify for the year four championships, a final opportunity to rise above the rest. And in APAC North, we saw the veteran squad of Reignite set the qualifiers ablaze with a dominant win in eight games. F Chan, Shunmi, and Surutakin secure the return to the land stage at Champs, alongside Meteor, who finishes in second. Moving down to Apex South, we saw chaos unfold as seven match point teams scrambled to close it out, but only a squad like Havoc could cut through the mayhem for the win. Now, on live, the drop down now here from SWQ as they decide to be proactive. Mobile Shield though coming in clutch, but he goes that makes up close. Big damage from SWQ, true eliminated. Havoc though, is this their chance? Oh no, they get stuck by the castle wall. And oh my god, he's done it! Ken, unbelievable from Havoc. They are going to Japan. Havoc qualifies for champs alongside Xiao, Nanyu, XNY, and will be taking on their first ever competition on the grand stage. 
over in the West, we saw a lot of stories unfold with the most notable being FaZe Clan's redemption after failing to secure their champ spot during the Split 2 playoffs. But FaZe reminded everyone how they got to the playoffs in the first place by dominating another regional match point finals. FaZe Clan are doing their best to really hold this one out. Looks like Golem's in a rough spot. They've got fantastic angles here for FaZe Clan with those Mosians. They're out. They work the Akimbo to clutch it up and FaZe Clan win LCQ here for Amanda. FaZe moves on to Japan with the squad of Eternal following right behind them. And across the Atlantic, we watched the grand return of Alberlili and Stallions as they knocked out the rest of NA to win the LCQs. Three teams left and Stallions large and in charge from the very beginning. They won our first game and they are going to win our last. Devil Mozams in the hand of Alberlili and Stallions come out on top. The LCQ and a trip to Japan is theirs. Stallions win their spot alongside Oblivion, and this win marks the first time in two years Albert Lely will be on a championship stage. It's good to have you back, Mac. With the last two teams of every region now locked, we have our final 40 teams heading to Sapporo for the ALGS Championships. So mark your calendars for January 28th, as this land is not going to be one to miss. But man, four months until champs, what are we going to do for the rest of the year? Am I on a green screen right now? <laughs> I think it's time we showcase our newest tournament series for the rest of the year, the BLGS. What's the plan? Well, what's it going to take to keep you guys around? We got a pretty good asking for us. I'm sure you do, man. Yeah, I mean, we're thinking numbers here. We discussed previously. 400 Have you? 400K. It's a solid number. That's a really solid number. Think man. about think about the vibes. Uh, we bring the charisma. That we don't really bring the analytic part, but and we, then we bring it. we bring the heart. We bring the you heart. Do bring and the, the heart. grid. There's a lot of heart. We do. Four hundred thousand dollars is a lot though for heart and grid. True. I'm gonna have to ask the CEO, man. Okay. Ask him. Ask him. The BLGS is an open tournament where everybody from pros, content creators, and casual Apex players can compete. Where everyone will be competing for their share of a $400,000 prize pool. The tournament will be split up into four intense single elimination qualifiers for each region, with the winners of each qualifier and the top performers overall moving on to the regional finals, where the 20 best teams in every region will fight for their share of $100,000. Not only will you see some of the best competing, but for the first time in Apex, we will be seeing every map being played in the BLGS. So we're about to see some action we've never seen before on a competitive stage. The BLGS is a great chance to see not just how some of these pro teams will perform after roster mania, but to see who will be the next great pros to rise above the rest. Throughout the tournament, you will be able to check out our hosts for the BLGS, Nicewig and Greek, as they watch party the action for the rest of the year. But don't forget to mark your calendars as the regional finals will also be hosted live December 15th on Play Apex for the grand finale. With that, we've wrapped up everything you need to know before we kick off in Sapporo, Japan. But until that day comes, you can check out all of the teams and all of the amazing plays in the BLGS for the rest of the year. Whether you're competing or watching, we look forward to seeing you on the drop.